guys! So my book appetite is way, way bigger than my capacity to actually read the books that I obtain. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> So every weekend I go to the library and pick up way more books than I can possibly read in that week. And usually I don't share this with you guys because I figure I'm not going to read these, I may never get to them, why bother sharing them with you? And today I figured, why not? So here is my weekly library book haul. So the first batch of books I picked up are about writing and that's just something I've been interested in lately how writers write, their thinking process, and what inspires them, things like that. So the first book I have, which I've actually started reading a little of, is The Writing Life, Writers on How They Think and Work. And it has an, it's edited by Marie Arana with an introduction by her as well. So I've read a little bit of it, you can see, so just that much, it's not a ton, but I've read a few authors and what they've been saying about writing, inspiration, and about teaching writing as well. Many of the authors in here are teachers in addition to their own writing. So I've learned a few things from this book so far, mainly that there are two types of writing books. Writing books that are more self-help oriented almost, that say, this is how I came into writing, you have a writer inside yourself, and you just need to let that voice out and to just write and you can't teach writing. Writing is something that is a way of thinking and you have that within yourself already. So that's one type of writing advice that seems to be given in this book. And the other type of writing advice that is given that I haven't really seen much of is about how to improve your writing skills, things that you would learn in a classroom setting, things like improving your vocabulary, your sentence structure, your way of storytelling, and I haven't really found much of that in this book. Um, not so much concrete advice, at least. So I don't know what I was looking for exactly, um, but this book so far, which isn't saying much because I have not gotten very far through it, is more about um, inspiration. And there's something to be said for that as well. And then the other book that is also about writing, which I haven't started reading yet, is Becoming a Writer by Dorothea Brand. And it's, according to the back, a classic on how to write. I don't know what type of writing advice it will give, if it's more of the self-help inspirational variety or if it has some more concrete suggestions, but I look forward to finding out. So the next book I have is fiction. It's a novel called Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. This book I heard about on Joe's channel, which I'll link down below. She is awesome if you haven't checked her out yet. And it is apparently about a civil war that I have literally never heard of. And I think it is appalling in this day and age that I don't know what is going on in the world. And perhaps this will teach me a little bit about that. However, I don't know if I will read this one at this point in time. I want to read it eventually, of course, but I don't know if I'll read it yet because I also have, not from the library, Americana by the same author. And I've been debating which one I should read first. A lot of people say start with Americana, that it is more approachable and accessible, and that I would like it. And then a lot of people also say start with Half of a Yellow Sun because it's better than Americana. So, I don't know, perhaps you guys could weigh in down below, because uh, I, I really don't know. And the other thing is, I'm still reading books for March Madness, so... Who knows when and if I will even get around to these. And then my last group of books is sort of nonfiction um, books on random things. You'll see what I mean. This one is called The Rituals of Dinner, The Origins, Evolution, Eccentricities, and Meanings of Table Manners by Margaret Visser. So it's just an interesting cultural history about 
table manners, I guess, in different different cultures and different places in the world and different time periods. And for some reason, this really appeals to me. Go figure. So the next book is At the Bottom of the Garden, A Dark History of Fairies, Hobgoblins, and Other Troublesome Things by Diane Perkis. Now, I sort of saw this book on Jen Campbell's channel, and I say sort of because the book she held up actually had a different title. The same author was also about fairies, but they were published a year apart, but my library didn't have the version she held up, so I settled for this, which I assume is incredibly similar. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it sounds like a really interesting look at the dark side of fairies, um, and how what we consider to be rather benign little Disney creatures today, um, have evolved from their dark origins. So, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of my little library haul, and, um, are there any books you think I should really, really, really get around to reading? and I hope I do get around to reading them. There's always too much I want to read and not enough time to read it, and of course some of that time is spent filming booktube videos for you guys and watching all of your wonderful booktube videos, so I don't have as much reading time as I would like, but um, I can still take out books for the library and hope that I read them. So, yes. Do you guys have this book appetite problem? My appetite is just, as I said, way, way bigger than I can actually handle. So, yes. I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye!